Hey, this is Taylor with the Strike Through Shortcut for Microsoft PowerPoint. So how do you strike through your text using your keyboard shortcuts in Microsoft PowerPoint? And I'll also show you some other cool text effects keyboard shortcuts that you can access. First off, there's two different ways to do this um, on a PC. You can use your ribbon guide keyboard shortcuts, PC only, this don't work on a Mac yet. You can also use your font dialogs box shortcuts in PowerPoint, which also opens up some cool text effects, which I'll show you how to shortcut those as well. Now, first off, the first shortcut is just your Alt H4 keyboard shortcut. And notice that there is no plus sign in between these. This is the key distinction of a ribbon guide shortcut. You do not need to hold these down. So let me quickly show you how this works. So if I'm here in PowerPoint, right? First off, if you come to the home tab, this is where the strike through command is. And you could obviously click this with your mouse, but we want to use our keyboard shortcut. So how do you do that using your ribbon guide? You hit and let go of the alt key. You'll hit the H key on your keyboard. You just follow the letters or the numbers and you hit the four key will automatically apply that strike through effect. If I then want to do it again, alt H four, all right, you'll get faster and faster at doing this. But again, you don't need to hold these down. To then remove the strike through effect using your keyboard shortcuts, just Alt H4, you apply it a second time, which will remove it. So that's the first way to do this. The second way to do this is actually using your font dialog box shortcuts. And there are three different font dialogs box shortcuts you can choose from. I obviously like the control T shortcut the best because it only has two keys. And here, notice you do need to hold these down to make these keyboard shortcuts work. So let me just quickly demo what this would look like. So I will select the objects that I want to create the strike through effect with. I'll hit control T on my keyboard, which will launch the font dialog box. Now, obviously you could click these different text effects with your mouse, but we again want to use our keyboard shortcuts. So I want you to pay special attention that there's an underlined K and for the double strike through, there's an underlined L. So if I hold the alt key and hit K on my keyboard, I will automatically select or unselect that using my keyboard and I can hit enter and I will immediately apply that single strike through effect. I'll do it again, control T. This time I'll hold the alt key and hit L for the double strike through, hit enter. And there you're gonna see the double strike through effect. So this is a fast way, control T, that you can access quite a number of different text effect options, double strike through super subscripts, which there's other keyboard shortcuts for that, which I'll put um, in the upper right hand corner. But this is another fast way that you can get at a lot of control T, control K, hit enter add or remove that strike through text effect. Now, if you want to learn the other strike through keyboard shortcuts for Word, Excel, and PowerPoint, um, I will put a link to my blog post below, which walks through all the different versions of this strike through shortcut key for the different Microsoft Office programs. So those are the two strike through effects, um, the ribbon guide shortcuts and the font dialogs box shortcuts. And if you found this video helpful, let me know here on YouTube with a thumbs up so I know what kind of video content you guys want to see. And if you're just looking for PowerPoint resources to help get you to happy hour, including PDF cheat sheets, mini series and other cool resources. Just look for the links directly beneath this YouTube video. This is Taylor from Nuts and Bolts Speed Training and I'll see you at happy hour.